I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to cube a binomial expression. We have, we have to expand and simplify x minus 2 whole cube. So x minus 2 whole cube could be written as x minus 2 that is the binomial multiplied to itself three times right. This is what is the meaning of x minus 2 whole cube. Now when you need to multiply 3, it is good practice to take 2 at a time. So in our case, we will take these 2 first and then later multiply by x minus 2. Some of you can also adopt the formula which we learned earlier. One of the formulas which we have learned is that, let me write down the formulas at the end, okay? Uh, x plus y, let me write now whole square is equals to x square plus 2xy plus y square and in case this is negative then we have negative here okay you could adopt the formula apply the formula and get the answer but in our case what we are doing is we'll do one by one so we'll apply the distributive property first we'll multiply by x so we'll multiply by x x minus 2 and then we'll multiply by minus 2, x minus 2, correct? So that is the part which we'll do first. And then whatever we get, we'll multiply that by x minus 2. Now this is, let me write them in square brackets, x square minus 2x, multiplying by minus 2 give you minus 2x minus minus is plus 4, right? Times x minus 2, and that is x square minus 4x plus 4 times x minus 2, correct? If you would have applied the formula x square, the term with negative coefficient, right? 2 times ab, 2 times x times 2, which is minus 4, and y square is 2 square, which is 4. You could have got it directly also, okay? Now, Let's multiply each term with x minus 2. So this time I'm not giving you this step in between. But remember, we are going to multiply by x all these terms, right? So we will have x times x squared is x cubed. And now we'll multiply x with 4x minus. So it is minus 4x squared. And now we'll multiply x with 4 so which is plus 4x. We'll do the same thing with minus 2. Minus 2 times x squared is minus 2x squared. Minus 2 times minus 4 is minus 8x and minus 2 times 4 is minus 8, right? And then we'll combine the like terms. x cubed minus 4x squared and minus 2x squared gives us minus 6x squared. So we combine these two terms, correct? And now we'll combine these two. These two, 4x minus 8x will give us minus 4x, and we are left with minus 8. That is the answer for us, correct? So that is how we could actually expand. As an exercise, what you can do is, you can find a general formula for a plus b whole q, right? a plus b whole q. The formula is, let me write down for you a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube and in case we have negative b so this will become negative this is square it will remain positive negative square is positive but this will become negative so that's the formula for cubes you could apply this formula and check your answer so that is the formula you can apply and check if we have got the correct answer or not. Let this be an exercise for you. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.